Hello, in this short video clip I would like to demonstrate a custom made utility uh, that is used to automatically allocate a construction work package for instrumentation cables in SPI. So as you know, uh, SPI allows to uh, develop the um, cable schedule. So in this case I use the engineering, engineering data editor um, to, um, to retrieve from the database the name of the cable and the uh, panel names connecting at both sides of the cable. So the panel name column contains the name of the equipment connecting at the side one of the cable and two panel name contains the uh, name of the equipment connecting at the side two of the cable. So actually in this specific workflow uh, the construction work package for the selected for each selected cable uh, is uh, is been selected uh, from the external external um, file. In this case, I use the Excel spreadsheet. So actually, the construction engineer uh, developed this worksheet indicating the numbers of the construction work packages. It provides the description of the of each construction work package, its application to the cable. So I, I use some example from the project that contains the proprietary information, and. Uh, uh, the PBS range column reflects the equipment work package number uh, of the equipment that connects at side one of the cable in, in SPI. Uh, so in smart plan instrumentation, the unit number of the panel indicates basically the equipment uh, equipment work package. So that was the configuration in the in the in the database. So once uh, once we hit the utility, so the utility is supposed to read the information of, from each cable, finding the panel connecting uh, at the side one of the cable, reading its uh, unit number that basically indicates the equipment work package, and then read, uh, go over this um, Excel spreadsheet uh, through the ranges, available ranges, and allocate the um, construction work package as found. And then the uh, CWP number will be recorded and saved in the SPI database as a property of the of the particular cable. So let's see how this utility works. Actually, I put this uh, developed uh, executable file of the utility under the SPI home folder. So I just created the new custom folder, okay, and placed here the utility. So uh, here is basically the uh, source file. Uh, of the construction work packages. So once you just double click on the on the utility, so it connects to the SPI database, uh, process uh, through all the cables in the um, in the in the in the database. Okay, or you can filter them out as required. Okay, uh, so this, as you can see, the process is very fast. Uh, so once it is finished, so it is good enough just to click refresh to. Uh, to refresh the data from the database and reflect them in the engineering data editor. So not all cables have been allocated with the CWP because uh, there could be some issue or uh, maybe the CWP number does not exist in the uh, in the list of the construction work packages. Um, so uh, we can check the status of the cable that didn't get the CWP number using the log file. So the utility actually generated the log file, so dated by today, okay, and it reflects uh, all cables that have not been allocated with the CWP. So I can find the requested cable in this in this log file, okay, and uh, uh, this log file provides with a description of the possible issue. So in that case, cable with this number connects to the equipment with this number, the cable CWP number is blank because no matching CWP number has been found based on the equipment input criteria. Please check the equipment production line number and unit name. So in that example, uh, the problem is with the unit unit name, right? So the unit number 288-800 is not available within the ranges of the CWP numbers. So that is basically the reason uh, why uh, the cable had not been allocated with the CWP number. So there is uh, two possible issues here. So either the uh, this master list of the construction work package numbers is not up to date, or the cable belongs to the wrong 
um, well, not the cable, but um, the equipment connected to this cable belongs to their own equipment work package. So once you located um, the construction work package numbers, so you can basically summarize them in this EDE view using the, uh, the standard functionality of the SPI. So once you uh, drag the header name to the uh, to this area, so it will group the cables by the construction group package. So that's it by now. Very short short introduction of the custom uh, cust uh, customization capabilities of the SPI. Uh, thanks and have a great day.